Welcome to the Marconi Building, which is home to the School of Physical Sciences here in DCU. The school has recently invested nearly half a million euros to upgrade all the physics laboratory facilities from year one to four. Let's take a look at our first and second year labs. Every week, students get to do a new lab, covering fundamental topics in physics, such as optics, mechanics, electricity, and magnetism, using a range of equipment, as well as doing a group project in semester two on a topic of their choice. Here, we have a dedicated data analysis area where students can plot data, run simulations, and do virtual experiments. A recent addition to the second year labs is a CT scanner. Computed tomography is an imaging technique which creates a 3D image of an object by reconstructing several 2D X-ray images of the object. This is an important technique in diagnostic medical imaging and the second year physics students get a chance to actually see how the technique works and make their own 3D images. This demonstration shows how the superconductor or the material in the puck interacts with the strong magnetic fields of the bar magnets in the track. The puck and the bar magnets repel each other, causing the puck to levitate or float in thin air. This is the principle that could be used to make highly fuel efficient mag level trains. In this hands-on optics demo, students work with lasers and mirrors to demonstrate colour mixing and other alignment puzzles. Students are also given a selection of reflective and transmission objects to direct the lasers onto your target. Third year physics students carry out a small number of very detailed experiments in semester one. These experiments are chosen to support their specialism in either physics with astronomy, applied physics, or biomedical physics. Students studying biomedical physics require a deep understanding of the physics behind medical MRI scans, and to that end, they undertake this MRI experiment. The student learns about the unique signal that water molecules give depending on their chemical environment. This signal would be very different for the water in blood plasma than it would be for the water in cartilage. By mapping these signals in space, a 3D image can be built up of a body part. And the important thing is that this is non-invasive and non-ionizing, unlike x-rays in a CT scan. All of the scanning, data capture and final display is done by the computer. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the physics facilities in DCU and we hope to see you soon.